Yo, what is up guys? So today I have a problem with my car. Um sorry for my face, I just woke up. Um we gotta replace the water pump today because my water pump went out. My radiator went out as well. I didn't take a video on how to replace my radiator because I was too tired to do so. But today is going to involve how to take the radiator, the water pump, and all that stuff. So I'm going to teach you how to do that so you guys learn. It's not too hard depending on what card you have. But either or, let's just get into it. So right now, we're going to go to the mailbox to go pick up the water pump. Um, so we can start working on that. Let's hope it fits. Let's hope I didn't waste any money on this. And... Let's just get right into it. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is it. This is too small for a water pump. Oh shit. Alright, I just got my. Uh, not my radiator, my water pump and my radiator cap which I needed a new one because every time you to me, every time you should replace a radiator you should just get a new cap anyways and I also got my water pump which is pretty small, I don't mind the only reason why I need to replace it is because I have that my shit, it's leaking all over the place and for tools that I'm gonna use to replace the, to, well, to take everything out, are just my set of tools and one of these funky looking things. But I just look on it. How the fuck open this box? Oh, there it is. Oh, it does come with a gasket. <laughs> Dope. I was confused. And I also have the water pump itself with the little things for the fan. And got the little radiator cap. Oops. Let's just get on it. So the first thing you wanna do is take out the battery or unplug something on the battery. Only reason why, only reason why it's because I read on a page that some cars have the airbag sensors on the front and it's not a good idea to have it on just because if it deploys well, there goes your fucking battery and your airbag and well, you can't really drive the car so you got no airbags and then you have to buy a whole new set which is pretty sure it's pretty damn expensive. Let's take this out and then fucking use this. Fucking hit this heavy. I put that there. Now, um, the first thing I do is I take this thing out. Just because it literally, there's like nothing in there. There's nothing. <laughs> just frees up more space. The other thing. I start draining out the water. I don't have coolant in here. <clears throat> it's just water. So I don't have to trip about wasting money. I've been running this on water for like the past week. And it's been working pretty good. Now we get our handy dandy pliers. <clears throat> and we start taking this out. 
out this bolt and this bolt right here. There's another one right here. And another son of a bitch right there. This whole thing can come off. So all you gotta do is just take it out. Spit the agua. Just put it there. No, let's just fuck my back. Now, what you do is, you're gonna unplug this. So I'm gonna put my camera down and try to take that son of a bitch off. So it just makes it easier for me. So I can take this out and then explain a little bit more about the radiator. We have the radiator out. It wasn't too much of a hassle to take it out. Um, it's just like one, two, like four bolts with two that come in here. The top and lower hose that are disconnected from the actual engine. And the radiator's right here. You're supposed to do this when it's cold so you don't burn yourself. The lower radiator hose is right here. It still has water in it. But we don't have to worry about that too much. The only thing we have to worry about is taking the fan out. Which I haven't done in a while. And I haven't taken these out in a while. But the challenge can't really say to stop it. But I mean, we got to start somewhere if we want to learn something. Alright, so I managed to take some things off. I got the fan out, which... I don't know if it's like missing a fin or something <laughs> and I also got uh, some of the two belts out I got the main belt which goes all around I don't know don't ask me I don't, I'm not a mechanic for shit I just do this because it's fun you know and because I like learning new things but let's see I got the main belt and I got the one that goes from the alternator all the way to the water pump out. That was hard as fuck to do. <laughs> I don't know why, but now the thing I gotta do is this whole center cap comes off so I can actually unbolt some things. I know you probably can't see because I'm fucking using my phone, but there is four bolts and there is one, two, three, four, five. In here that I can take off. After that, uh, the water pump should be able to come off, and I should be money so I can put the new one on. All right, so we're almost done. We're just putting everything back together. Um, the water pump is in. I just have to tighten up the bolt around it. I was having a little bit of trouble trying to take out this part and the clutch fit, if that's what it's called. It took me almost an hour to take the bolts to go around this part. But my mother had the greatest idea of hitting it with a hammer, if it makes sense. It's like spinching it from one side and just use the little 10 mil to, that goes in the bolts and just like hammer it down just so it loosens up. Since it had medium strength thread locker so it's pretty much in it's almost done there's all the screws i just have it tightened up then i have to put in the fan clutch and all that crazy stuff but i'll see you after it's done and i'll see how it runs and when it runs we'll treat ourselves to some food you know gotta get that food hey guys so i did end up fixing the car i put the water pump i I'm sorry I don't have too much footage because it got kind of hectic since I never replaced that water pump mostly in a car of mine. I usually help my friends out. Um, it does run. It makes it like a squeaky noise. I know it's like, I don't really know how to describe it. It's really loud when it goes from the lower RPM, so the way to 3000 and it just goes away. I think that's because I'm running water instead of coolant. So, I kind of let the car warm up. I ended up going to Walmart. I bought three gallons of coolant just so I can put it up tomorrow. I will show you guys what I mean tomorrow morning or whenever I wake up since I'm in the middle of moving. I'm moving to Arizona. So I did end up getting something to eat, you know, fat people gotta eat. <laughs> but uh, the car works, water pump, it's working great. 
no more leaks radiator brand new radiator water pump brand new cap for the water pump i still have to replace the thermostat but that's going to be probably on in a later video when i vlog again i haven't been able to vlog too much since like i said i'm moving but the uh this video will be up maybe between one or two days i'm not really sure probably by the time i upload this video <sighs> the days don't really matter it will be uploaded you guys will know anyways but <clears throat> i will show you how to put coolant and how to drain the water that i have in the car so you guys can do it by yourself not too hard not too difficult i've already done it like five times but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you tomorrow hey guys it's been a day since i replaced the water pump and I haven't really had the time to change the water out of the car so I can put coolant on. Um, I'm gonna try and show you how I take the radiator out of the car so we can get moving. It's been a hectic day. I'm in the middle of moving. I don't know if I said it in the middle of the video already, but we're a week away from moving to Arizona so um let's see we're moving to arizona we're moving next week we'll be living there for who knows how long but the reason we're moving there is just personal reasons maybe i'll talk about it in another video when i talk about myself but for now let's just work in this drain whatever water i have in here and we just get right into it. Sorry about my hair. I woke up like maybe 20 minutes ago because I had no sleep. But let's just get right into it. All right, so the radiator's off. Now all I have to do is take this little fucking thing off, put it aside. Now, oh, right. There's gonna be a lot of water draining out of the car as you can hear from there what's uh, that little tube right there we we'll move this aside it's coming out from here now sorry not the best blogger in the fucking world but I'm trying to manage you know all right radiators out now we just gotta take the water off which I need my big pliers Where did it go have I retarded oh yes I am retarded <laughs> all right let's get this son of a bitch off Twist this off. All right, let's take. Oh, oh shit! All right. Oh, let's. <laughs> Especially if you tilt it on the side, most of the water rushes through this little hole over here, so it makes it easier. Not all of it. It's gonna come out, but pretty sure 70 to 80% of it will come off. Other than that, we are pretty much done draining the radiator. There's pretty much other ways to do it. I just decided to do the extra fucking thing just to train it out, but that's pretty much everything that fell in the car and that's just the water i have three gallons of coolant inside the car and then that's pretty much it other than that just have to pour it in the install is pretty much the same thing but just backwards <sighs> hectic fucking thing 
but it's a beautiful day, you know? <laughs> Anyways, let's stop lazing around. I've been feeling sick lately. So I've been eating too much fast food, you know? I've been getting really fat. <sighs> what to do with my life? Fuck, let's just go back into it. Now, the thing to do is put it back. Nothing too complicated, nothing too difficult. We have main hose that goes to the top. And the hose that goes all the way to the bottom, which connects right here. And then, that's it. I replaced the air filter, which is this big thing. Which isn't too hard, just take these clips off and screw this. That should be it. I don't really know what to say at this point. I'm kind of like stressed. <laughs> the water pump took me like a good three hours just to replace it, so I did it on my own. But you learn from what you do, and when you don't learn, that's because you're lazy. But fuck, let's just get back into it. Now that I think about it, I need to take this off too. I need to drain the water that's in here. Now this takes forever, so let's just try and fast forward a little bit. I'm just gonna let it sit over there. Lazy. Alright. Fuck. Now we gotta put the thingy back on. So. See, now I don't remember which way this thing goes. Oh shit, my thing's sideways. Okay. Hmm. Pretty sure. Yeah, I should just go to the car and check again. So when I don't know which way it goes, I I usually go back and go to where the hose actually goes. Put it in this way to see if it fits. If it doesn't fit, if it doesn't fit, I usually flip it around, and it looks like this is the way it actually works. Like this is facing a little bit this way. So, let's sit the hell down. I'm gonna put the tube back on. And that's it. Now, all we gotta do is just clamp this. Sons of bitches in here. Shouldn't be too hard. I hate these a lot. They're not my best friends. They hate me. That's pretty much it. Donezo. Okay, let's try and put the radiator in. Sorry if you guys can not really see much. I don't really have a decent camera to work with. So, just trying to make sure I can do whatever I can for you guys. Okay. 
Okay, I think we're ready to put coolant in the car. Everything is back in, nothing is missing, cap is on. Uh, in my case, my car uses 50-50 coolant. So, depending on what kind of car you have, just kind of look it up and it helps. It helps out to know what kind of coolant your car uses. Alright, so we're inside of the car now. It's a hot damn day. But let's see if the coolant makes any difference with the water. It's probably gonna sound like shit when I start it, but that's kinda normal at this point. Mostly with this car, since I pretty much spend most of the time working on it. All right, let's go. It actually doesn't make that grinding anymore. That's so cool. All right, let's just try to give it a few revs and see. Nope, there is that grinding again. Well, it's not grinding, it's squeaking. I don't know what it could be. I honestly have no idea. But it usually happens when it's cold, when it's from like a thousand all the way to three thousand RPM, it starts squeaking. But the more I drive it, the more it just goes away. And I'm not saying that every time I start the car when it's cold, it goes from a thousand to three thousand RPM and then the squeak stops. No, I mean that the more I drive it, the like it goes away but it's still there between like a thousand to fifteen hundred rpm but let me see if i rev it it might work i don't know but that's not sexy anyways let's check the engine bay Yeah. Anyways, sorry about that. That was my brother. He was just trying to tell me something about what my mom is doing. But honestly, other than that tiny little squeak, the car sounds very healthy. Um, I don't see any leaks. It actually runs smoother than what he actually did before. Uh, brand new air filter, so it's gonna have better airflow to the car since. The air filter was never replaced since the car was made. So the other thing I have to do is just replace the AC filter, which I kind of have to figure out where it is. It's usually mostly on the right side of the car, which is right there. But that would be for some other day. Um, even though I'm not as popular, as any other youtuber and I don't have that big fan base and I'm just pretty much started I know that when people see my video they're gonna think wow he's just just a stupid fucking kid that's just working on a regular car and it's not working on anything crazy like a Supra or like uh, who knows like an MR2 or a Miata or something like that. Well, you know Some of us don't really have that much money to work on things. Yes, I have some nice cars But this one is my dad's and that one is my mother's I Can't do anything to them because that's theirs and it's obviously not my decision on what and why I can't do this one is Just my car. It's not my first car. It's not my 
beater car. It's not my crazy car that I'm maybe gonna build into a super truck or just lift it as fuck, you know? I'm not going for that. I'm just going for a car that I can actually daily, that I can work on, that when something breaks, it gives me some more material to work on so I can actually show you guys how to fix it. Just like the fucking water pump, it took me three hours. But thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate how much you guys at least put the effort to see my videos, even though I'm not that popular. But it helps me out and it makes me feel more confident and putting out more videos and just like shooting more. And it makes me feel more confident to, sh to shoot in front of people, even though I'm just doing this on my house. So it doesn't really matter. Maybe we'll do something crazy to like work on my friend's car and try to help him out. But right now, my car to me is my baby and I appreciate everything that's on it. And I don't care if it's shit, but to me, it just sounds good. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your time and watching this video. See you guys later. Peace. Oh, tengo el flow que le gusta a tu